There's a lot of bad stages in Smash, and that's why we're continuing this creative exercise to try to fix them. Let's start it. Green Hill Zone is a big bowl of not dying. And the collision is just wonky. This has always kind of been a problem in Smash, but this stage just highlights it. You just stop and slide instead of what seems like should happen, which is bounce in the other direction. That makes the middle of the bowl a little too safe, which is why the gimmick of the ground breaking in the middle is a very welcomed hazard, because then it turns the safest area into a very dangerous area. And this potentially can create a tense, fun moment. A side effect of this is that it pushes people to the sides, which might happen anyway, because they don't have fun fighting in the bowl. But over on the sides are walk-offs, which tend to not be very fun. They kind of encourage you to not play the game or to play it very cheaply. What's fun about that? You kind of have to pick your poison. You want to fight in the middle where you can't die or on the sides where you die at 20%. There's also these little posts that pop out and if you attack them, they start spinning and they can damage opponents. This is an insanely random idea to turn into a hazard when you think about it. In Sonic, this thing's a checkpoint. An object of safety. Let's not put in any of the enemies. Let's not put in the ladybug. Let's make the checkpoint twirl around so fast it becomes hostile. It's not even bad gameplay wise, I just find it comical. And another thing, the visuals. It all looks like plastic. But actually, it does look pretty plain. And to be fair, this stage was first in Brawl, and they didn't have a lot to be inspired by back then. But Brawl was 15 years ago, and they had a chance to update it a little bit. I'm not saying it should look like the movie, but this is kind of the bare minimum. Fixing Green Hill Zone, don't worry guys, I got this. The bold design is fundamentally flawed. Throw it in the trash. We need to give it ledges. Let's give it some balance. Some real places to fight, and a little hint of riskiness. You know, a little gap can go a long way. And aesthetically, let's take inspiration from Sonic Generations. Let's make it look like that. Well, I don't have the budget to make it look like that, so use your imaginations. Check it out, look at that. The wideness gives more room to move. It's not cramped anymore. But you know what? Overall, I think this stage design is playing it pretty safe so far. So let's throw in some spice. It's time for hazards, everybody, which I'm excited for because in the last batch of stages we talked about, those hazards needed to be subdued. We only talked about removing things for the most part, but Green Hill, the source material, has a lot to work with. So first off, and pretty expected, you gotta have the fish. You saw that bridge. You know they gotta be popping up every once in a while, not constantly. You know what I think would be fun? Little stuff popping up, sometimes springs, sometimes spikes, and sometimes the big thing, get a load of this, the item boxes. They can spawn anytime, anywhere, but the thing is you actually need to go punch it until it breaks, and then you get the power up. And it depends on the item. You can get the speed shoes, which makes you run fast, obviously, but also gets rid of a lot of your end lag on attacks. You can get a ring box, which heals you a little bit. There's invincibility, which is self-explanatory, and there's a shield, which absorbs a lot of the damage until it breaks. I think that's a big improvement over a big frickin' ball. When is enough enough, though? Because you can think of a hundred ideas, but does that mean they should all be in? Why not have the ledges crumble? Why not have those little dragonflies shoot bullets at you? Why not have Eggman as a stage boss? Why not have a whole scrolling stage that's a one-to-one -one recreation of Green Hill Zone? Because it's overwhelming, and it detracts from the main fight. There's a sweet spot for the amount of stuff that should be in a stage, but what do you think? Honestly, I want to know your opinions. Leave a comment. I love reading them. I love you make them. Boxing ring. See, my main problem with this one is that the fight always crawls its way out of the ring, which would be okay if it was fun out there, but it's not. Unlike in pro wrestling games where going outside of the ring is exciting and almost feels illegal. But Smash, it does not have that effect at all. And oops, there's walk-offs on both sides. So now people really want to be all the way on the side so they can hopefully get an easy, cheap KO. Check out these bouncy ropes. They help you get up to the main platform all the way at the top. And honestly, I think this stuff works. This is all good. But there are some bizarre interactions with these ropes. Like why can some characters do that? 
maybe they shouldn't be able to do that, but it's not that bad. It's just a little silliness. I do have a complaint about that upper platform though, and it's not that it's too high. When you respawn, you're kind of obscured by the platform itself, which is a problem if you're a beginner player. I've literally played with people where they get knocked out, they respawn, and they're like, where the hell am I? Am I out? There's other parts in this stage where you can just like be invisible because you're behind things. What's up with that? Is that on purpose? Yeah. So I have two ideas for boxing ring. First one, get rid of the walk-offs. Cover the floor with the audience. So there's no more walking on the ground over there. So if you get knocked out, the audience grabs you and throws you back into the ring. Imagine getting a crowd-assisted KO. That's kind of fun. And the other idea, keep the floor walkable. You can walk on it all you want, but it's gonna hurt, even if you're in the air. And it's gonna do more damage the more you're out there, and the only way to make it stop is to make it back to the middle. You can fight out there if you're crazy. That might sound a little overcomplicated, but there's just too many characters that would be able to avoid the floor if it was simply just a floor that hurt you. You know what I mean, buddy? I wanted to do an electric floor, actually, but then I remembered all this stuff. I prefer the violent crowd surfing anyway, but which one sounds more fun to you? If neither of these sound fun, you should leave your own idea. But what you shouldn't do is leave a comment crying and shitting. That's just embarrassing for you. This is all about fun. It's a creative exercise. Yahoo! Underrated stage of the day. We're taking a little break time to tell you about Spiral Mountain. I love this stage with hazards on. If they're turned off, it's just weird and boring. It's amazing what you can do with just simple layout changes that are going on throughout the match. It keeps the battle feeling fresh consistently, but letting you focus on your opponents. But uh-oh, it has a walk-off, but it's temporary. You love to see it. So this way, it basically acts as a hazard that comes and goes. Everything about this stage is temporary and it subtly changes. And you have the little lip at the bottom. It creates an awkward moment, but before it starts getting annoying, the stage is already rotated. That's what's great about it. That's what I enjoy about it. So next time you smash, give this one a try. It's great, unless you get motion sickness easily. Balloon Fight. Does anybody like this one? I wish I did because I'm a fan of the NES game, but it just has all these little weird things going on. This is actually three stages in one because there's three variations. Only one of them has like a centralized location. The other two are just random platforms thrown in. And then there's also like you bounce off the ceiling and then that stalactite you can break, but it doesn't make it a normal platform. It just gets rid of the wall, which is unnecessary because that wasn't a thing in Balloon Fight. Also, this isn't clear that it's it's not a platform. It's only like a pixel thicker. If this is a casual game made for babies, how is a baby going to know <laughs> that that's a ceiling and not a platform? They've got some hazards going on too, like the fish. It can jump out and bite you, although it is very easy to get out of. There's the flipper, which just taps you. Doesn't do much. And then you have these electrical sparkies. Just taps you. Doesn't do much. The coolest concept here, in theory, if it reached its full potential, is the screen wrap gimmick. If you walk to the side, you come out the other side. And if you get launched, you die. Which means more walk-offs. This causes a lot of the match to take place off screen where you can't see. So there's a lot of weirdness going on, but even more weird is this thing I found out recently. The ground isn't solid. You can go up from under for some reason, and then you're under the ground, you're in the water, you're off screen, and it happens all the time. This is just badly designed. With a few broad changes, I think we can fix Balloon Fight up real quick. The sides of the screen shouldn't kill you if you get launched into it. I know that sounds crazy, but I think this is the type of chaotic wackiness that Smash needs. So if you get launched off the side, you just keep looping because that's what's expected. And it's not like it'll be impossible to die because you can still die off the ceiling. Most attacks hit up at an angle anyway, but the key to all this is the fish. Make it stronger. Make the water actually dangerous and get rid of those weird half walls for the ground. And there should be less space off screen. It should be like the second you walk out the left side, you come out the right side. So that way you're not obscured by being off screen. And uh, take those lightning sparks. Instead of just damaging you, they should paralyze you. So you're stunned for a moment, so your opponents can get some satisfaction by running over and charging up a strong move on you. And because they're stronger, make them spawn less often. 
Hyrule Temple. It feels blasphemous to say anything bad about this one, but we did a poll for the most overrated stages and Temple won third. Temple often is considered to be some beautiful masterclass of video game art, but I guess some people say it's overrated. And I agree. Any big stage is going to have potential big problems. It, it depends on a lot of factors. Because if you're playing with even just one person who just runs away, they just run away. But if you're playing with items on, that naturally encourages players to move around. And you get rewarded for using all parts of the stage because items are spawning in all parts of the stage. But you don't always get to play with items, especially online when your preferred rules are often not preferred. And you also don't always get to play with people who celebrate good sportsmanship. See, Temple is a good example of if you're playing with the right people, it's awesome. But if you're not, it sucks. There's not enough stages in Smash that incentivize fun gameplay through the design of the stages. Because instead, they incentivize fun gameplay through, hey, play nice. If you don't like them doing that, ask them to stop. They didn't make this stage for sweats. They made this stage for friends, hanging out, having fun. Which I respect, because Temple does a great job at being that. Under the right circumstances, it feels like a playground. And honestly, I kind of don't want to change Temple. Because who am I to build brick walls on a playground? But if I had to change some things, you know, I'll share my nitpicks. Flatten out some of these little bumps. We don't need them. And if you want to limit running away, let's put up some walls. So now you can't loop around. But now there's walls to tack off. They might survive even longer down there. Okay, we'll put up some spikes. That'll show them. They can still loop in that middle. There's that little pathway. Make a door. That's closed. And there we go. We did it. We saved the game. Wait a minute. We killed him. He's dead. See, I'm just kidding. I didn't mean any of that. I do have an idea to improve Temple, though. Hear me out. In a way, we're going to make it more competitive by making it more casual. You know what I'm saying? Not competitive in the tournament legal sense, but competitive in spirit. You're trying to win, but you're not holding yourself back because you're afraid you're not respecting the royal rules of good sportsmanship. So Temple Hazards Off is the same as Temple Hazards On. So we're going to give it a hazard. So Temple isn't really based on a specific Zelda game. Technically, it's based on Zelda 2, but I don't see it. I think they just kind of made stuff up. So let's give this stage gloom. That's from Tears of the Kingdom, but I mean, this is basically a sky island, and a stage doesn't need to be lore accurate. This is a creative exercise, again, listen. So imagine this. The stage starts out normal, but every once in a while, gloom hand shows up and infects parts of the ground. So if you're in the gloom zone, you'll be damaged by touching the infected floor. Basically, poisoned, you know, and the only way to stop getting damaged is to go back and touch safe ground, kind of like boxing ring I mentioned earlier. Usually, it'll infect one or two chunks at a time, but on rare occasions, it'll slowly swarm into one area where everyone's pushed together temporarily. And the funny thing is, this happens on the regular stage, but only the bottom area. Nobody ever wants to fight on the whole rest of the stage. There's no gameplay incentive to go up there. They want to stay down here where it's safe because they want to win. I also need to make this point. Too. This is just me doing a demonstration of the gloom, all right? I think it'll be ideal if the stage is blank half the time. There's no gloom half the time. Or do you think the hazard's not involved enough? The gloom hands could appear and start grabbing players and start spanking them, but I think that would be overkill, personally. That's my temple stage, and hey, hypothetically, if this were actually in the game, you could just turn off hazards and have it be back to normal. What's a stage that you think needs fixing? Because there's a lot of them. They don't care about the fairness built in. They care about the fairness that you work out all your minor differences with your friends and family. So there's a lot to work with here. Thanks for watching, and extra thanks to all the members. Thank you, members. Bye-bye.